Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Borsh Chibayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poetar. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Let's all go right, fight. so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Rotates the lock and throws it way through the air. What a massive takeout. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takeout. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Just missed with the left there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook. Pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses there with the left. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice uppercut by the champion. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Whiffs on that offering. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
Oh, man, he put on the best poker face he could there, but he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Under a minute now to go. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good punch. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice elbow. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Good takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Lands with a right hand. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Nice punch land over the top. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. 
Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Right punches there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Great punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. That's a good knee to the body. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not We know we see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Great punch landed with so much power. Punch is blocked. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, a nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Ooh, nice right hand. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Leg kick. Nice punch there. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Both guys landing big shots. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, a little single collar tie there. With that punch, no good. Connects with a right. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. And they both stand up. Oh, that's a nice strike. Blocks the shot to the body. Pretty good right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is... He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, able to slam him down to the ground. Well done. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. He missed with that jab attempt there. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Ooh. Straight right hand, no good. Punch over the top. This can change the fight. Another takedown land. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch, man. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John's papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up for top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Takedown here, he gets he has it. a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Back to the feet now. Man, he needs to start looking to 
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice job moving off the set. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh. Trying to stay in this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, straight right. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Wow! Oh, finish his fight. Shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC middleweight champion.